welcome to the Q&A Cafe. Uh, it's great to have you all here. Let me start by thanking our sponsors, Georgetown Cupcake, Rachel Pearson Associates, Lennons of the Week, the Amano Shop, the Loyal Friends of Nathan's, and um, uh, Prairie Capital Partners. So thank them very much. And I'm really happy to welcome Harry Shearer, Michael McKeon, and Christopher Guest. And I pronounced your name correctly. Fabulously. You? Well, Better I'm than I do. <laughs> I'm well Mr. Shearer told you how to say <laughs> that? Yeah. Uh, in Mr. Middle, West told me. In, in the Mr. middle West. of their tour that is uh, not Spinal Tap, uh, though in part it's Spinal Tap. And yeah. it's not the Folksman, but it's in part the Folksman. It is, in fact, unwigged. And unplugged. Unplugged. Acoustic Except that tour. it's plugged. How, how <coughs> a little bit Officially. Plugged. We're plugging it today, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you are going to plug it, yeah. Um, how is the tour going? Is this literally the middle of it right now, this week? Just about. Yeah. yeah. I think this is our 17th show tonight. Yeah. And, and you started on the West Coast? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks the West Coast of Canada. Of, can of Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Because Canada is a good warm-up country. Canada is warm-up country. <laughs> <laughs> you better. You better warm-up. And cool it's down. It's like America's Hartford. And, and has the whole tour... <laughs> I never thought of actually, Hartford as a warm-up country. Well, no, but, actually, I mean New Haven, but... Yeah. But, uh, yes, well, if you were uh, your Miss California, you would consider um, a California country, because mm -hmm. remember when... Uh, like the Iraq. When, when, remember when <laughs> yes. she said, in our country, mm -hmm. in our country, marriage uh, uh, is between a man and a woman? Yes, yeah. our nation. Right. Our, na yes. <laughs> our yeah. nation of, of California. And the new thing is that she said that Satan made uh, Perez Hilton ask her that question. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Yeah, no, I believe you're not but, making it up. But it's pronounced, apparently it's pronounced Satan. Satan. <laughs> this there, is all true. Was there any surprise when Donald Trump said she could in fact stay in the... <laughs> well, I, I just I mean, think you have, to, you have to look at the, at, the, at the source there, you know. When you have a supposed billionaire who uh, spends his time teaching at learning annex, you have to, you know, question <laughs> everything. <laughs> He's not going to fire a woman who's already appeared uh, partly naked on, right. the, That's on right. the World Wide Web. Right. That's correct. So, but anyway, back to your tour. You have been traveling all, all by bus? I mean... Mostly you, by bus. Yeah. Mostly by Occasionally bus? we get on... What do they call that? Airplane. 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 <laughs> but uh, mostly by bus. Mostly and by is bus. it the same bus? Or do you get different yeah, buses? Yeah, no. Or we live, it's a bus. It's not a Greyhound bus. It's no, actually no, a bus. No, I know. I've seen it park. Yeah. No, we see the same but, people every time. But there's time. a culture of the bus. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yes. yes. It's and, not uh, a Greyhound. It's more of a Rottweiler it's bus. A, it's home. <laughs> <laughs> First thing it's that home. happens is that Harry finds his nest. Right. And he puts, he, he, he travels with these big bins of, of belongings. <laughs> office supplies. It's labeled office supplies. And a, uh, a cappuccino maker, an espresso maker that is all wrapped up in towels and everything. So he finds his little corner, and we get the rest of the bus. <laughs> then you're allowed to come aboard, right? Yeah, once, yeah, yeah. Once Harry's marked his territory. Yes, exactly. And been positive he has contact with CNN or BBC. Uh, he I, does the best he can. We have right. satellite uh, I, television I on heard. the and Wi-Fi wi on the bus. Yeah. yeah. So you all play with your. No. <laughs> Let her finish. Oh, I'm sorry. Let her finish. <laughs> Your devices. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry I let her finish. Yeah. Wow. But um, the last time you traveled on a bus together was when Mighty Spinal Wind. Mighty Wind was a bus also? We did uh, a little bus. A little, little bus tour. Yeah, it, yeah but this the is Mighty a bigger tour than Mighty it, Wind. It is. Yeah. And Mighty Wind was in Washington. I remember yes, you were yes. at the 930, the 930 Club. We played three, three shows. Yeah, three yeah, shows yeah. There. Very yeah. successful. Yeah. 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 But that was a small, but the last time that you toured sort of, just the three of you, was as Spinal Tap. 92. 92. Yeah. We did a serious Break Like the tour. Wind. Yeah. Break Like the Wind. Break Even Like the Wind, we Break called even. it. <laughs> and so how has the culture changed? The culture of the bus changed? Are you... Better buses. Better buses. We got TV, we got satellite TV. Right. I mean, all those things. And, and you don't and, have to... And we're not traveling with a drummer. That changes a lot about you the culture. Have a good of they're eating, Harry. With drummers. They're, they're, <laughs> eating, they're still eating lunch. We can't tell you the why. We'll, drummers yeah. probably don't want to travel with you. Oh, you know, no. When no. you're spinal tap. No, uh, our drummer loved to travel with us when we were spinal tap. He was so overjoyed because we were staying at good hotels. Was this your real drummer? Our real drummer. Yeah. Your real drummer. And okay. who's worse okay. than in this way than any fictional drummer and came up to us about a third of the way through the tour. And we were staying, as I say, in really good hotels, you know, because we're mm -hmm. grown ups. And he's like overjoyed. He's like, very conspiratorially saying, I've got all these little free bottles of shampoo. I've got about two years' worth now. <laughs> they don't even know I've taken them. Uh, and then our keyboard player, C.J. Yeah. Vanston, who had, his, his, uh, had the, the drummer's uh, home address, started sending him letters 
yeah. allegedly from hotel detectives. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to have to return these shampoos, Mr. Barnell. Right. Because hotel dicks still exist. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you're out of the hotel and back in the bus now uh, for your sort of northeast leg yeah. of the tour. And then um, we, we'll, we'll talk about what you're doing on stage with this, but there is some Spinal Tap news. Is there? Yes. I believe there is. I believe that your worldwide tour of one night is expanded night into two nights. Oh, yes, that's it's right. Now it's now a, a two-night worldwide yeah. tour. Yeah. So you are going to be at Glastonbury mm -hmm. yes. as Spinal Tap yeah. in, at the end of June. Right. Right? Yes, and the Glastonbury gonna, Festival. And then you're going to be at Wembley for the second night of yeah. your worldwide tour. That's true. Right. So that, that was something yeah, right. new, I believe. The folks, yeah, are, are, the folks from there are actually opening for Spinal Tap. So what Tap. do you do with the folks when once they're done opening? Uh, we, do, we hang them up and we, we, hang, them <laughs> up. we hang them up to dry. But there is, but there is a wonderful story of uh, the folks been opening for Spinal Tap. Well, oh, at the Beacon, yeah. yeah. We Where? forgot. We neglected to mention there was going to be an opening act. <laughs> so, uh, well, we had been, we had been. Pardon me, we'd been kind of intoxicated with this because when our first time through New York, we had played Carnegie Hall. Mm -hmm. The folks when it opened for Spinal Tap, it went splendidly well, and then we were invited back to New York to play the Beacon, and and somewhere along the line. As well, Michael said, they neglected to say, well, there's going to be an opening act. So then these three old dudes come out there with acoustic <laughs> instruments, <laughs> and some of the audience were not, were not standing for it. Well, they didn't know who it who, who They it didn't were. know it was you. No, no, no. no. And Mike, <laughs> no. Yeah. They no. didn't know it was you no. opening yeah. for you. Right. And we couldn't break out a character to say, no, we're, we're the guys us. you like. No. <laughs> and th this happened, my, my son was with my wife at, at, at an event in, in, at, at the Greek theater, and he said, when are the old guys getting off and the loud guys coming on? <laughs> that's our, that's our no, shorthand for the two acts. Yeah, he, he had no idea. And he, now you're, 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 you're at peace with your old guy selves, and you're right. touring as well, the we old guys completely. Yeah. Make a note to, to tell yeah. people about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people like a joke once they know it has occurred. Well, um, but the, 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 the lesson, the lesson we learned there is, you know, because we were really making a, a joke, the, the, having the folks from an open yeah. for Spinal Tap was a joke it's about the worst the, idea in history. The worst idea for an opening act, and so how, therefore great, and how humiliating for that act. Yeah. And then we were enduring the very humiliation that we were. <laughs> it turns out we're not the only act to ever open for themselves. Self. That's correct. The, uh, man uh, of I think Horowitz guy. opened the, for himself, didn't he? That's different. That's different. <laughs> The guy who is oh, thank you, Chris. the guy who is both C. W. McCall and Mannheim Steamroller is one guy, yeah. and he did a show where he opened as C. W. McCall and came back as Mannheim Ste Steamroller. I think so you guys trumped that though. No. And Sonic Youth, for, for Sonic me. Youth is also uh, made up bands that but they there, are. But there's also. other news too from Spinal Tap, and that's you've got a, you've got a, I don't even a, know what they're called a new anymore. Record. It's you've a got, CD and you've DVD got new combo. media coming out. Yeah, yeah. You've, yeah. Got, mm -hmm. you've got a package coming yeah. out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time. Don't get started on Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, you pack. said you were hot. No. Um, <laughs> you have a CD coming out, yes. and it's got special features, and mm -hmm. everybody's going to want to buy at least a few of them. Mm -hmm. I even think if so. they're yeah, it's a great there's, gift there's idea. It's a great gift. <laughs> yeah. Uh, get a copy of that too if you can. If you can get your hands on it. But it is Spinal Tap music, and it's. And you were, it's its not remastered or remixed, you're actually recording these. Right, yes. The, Have you uh, done that? You've done all oh, yeah. that? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's all, all done. done. It's, it's done. It's good to Ready go. Ready to drop, as they say. We, <laughs> <laughs> Ready to drop. <laughs> We, um, the, the original, uh, uh, the soundtrack album mm -hmm. is indeed that. It was all recorded as source music. It was all recorded to be seen on, on the screen. These guys are playing this. Concert performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it wasn't, they weren't the records as if they were really records. Mm -hmm. So this, this album kind of takes care of that. This is how those songs would have sounded if they were all studio individual versions. releases. But, so, but studio for Spinal versions. Tap fans, this is a must. Essential. And there's essential. also new music the as new well. New music. Uh, for the first time, Jazz Odyssey is on record. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. And Saucy Jack. And well, no. Saucy Jack is a free, free download. Can Saucy right. Jack ever get done? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah, can go. You can go to uh, SpinalTap.com and uh -huh. you can download the opening number it's called right. Saucy Jack for free. For free. So yeah, but, but that's all there is. And, there, and, and then, there's a, a song that we've done in concert, but had never been recorded before, which is sort of our our take on the endless jam called Short and Sweet because it's neither. <laughs> and uh, some new songs, uh, Warmer Than Hell, which we did at the Live Earth show, mm -hmm. Rock and Roll Nightmare, Rock and Roll Nightmare, nightmare. Mm -hmm. and Back from the Dead, which is the title. And song. Back from the Dead right. is. And I noticed in the commentary on Spinal Tap and the special edition of Spinal Tap and. Fans, if you haven't listened to the commentary, I haven't. 
I know you haven't. You, well, you recorded it. I said We don't um, remember it. I think almost every person who came on the screen, you said that they were dead. So I wondered if that it's The fictional people. Yes, the fictional yeah, people. Yeah. You had right. Well, we just didn't want to talk about them anymore. <laughs> it was clear. Yeah. It was, it was very Improvisational clear, but, shortcut. <laughs> but the, uh, whose idea was it to include an actual a vinyl LP in this uh, package that's coming out? Are we doing that? You are. You are including I think there's it. a vinyl Maybe it was your out. idea. I never heard yeah. of it. I just no. wondered who you knew who still had a turntable. Oh no, people people still do. That. It's DJs. getting hot. Yeah. No, it's it's uh, getting it's gonna hot. It's getting hot again. Yeah, yeah. the okay. record company that I work with on my my uh, solo stuff told me that the only recording format last year that increased in sales is vinyl. So we're yeah. all going to need to make room now no, again no, no. in our bookshelves. No, no, you don't have to do a damn thing. But if okay. you had a, tar a turntable, it was all hooked right up. Now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You will be able to play Spinal Tap. In vinyl. In whatever format, yes. Um, so you decide you're going to go on mm. tour as yourselves. And you started rehearsing in, back in California, mm -hmm. in sunny California. Thank you for bringing us this weather. You're welcome. And uh, there was a day when, um, when you were in the studio uh, getting to know your earbuds. I guess for like yeah, even, it was even before the earbuds even were really in. This was our first day uh, in rehearsal. Yes, Is and it? who should come in from the studio one over? Uh, Sir Paul McCartney. Sir Paul McCartney. Yeah, we had heard he was in, uh, rehearsing in the, in the complex. Yes. And we thought, oh God, maybe we'll sneak a peek in there. Did come you strolling try? in, chewing gum and. <laughs> A little piece of sprig of heather that he had found somewhere, the plant, not the woman. Mm. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and he was just like, oh, it smells right, it smells great. You know? And it was like, we're going. Oh, I, I, I. <laughs> and we did a couple of numbers for him. Well, you do, he literally says, so You fellas, performed play, so so fellas, play us a song. Yeah. yeah so, so we how played did our you? Rolling Stones cover. Yeah. <laughs> we thought he'd like that. That's all the competition, that's over now. You're obviously you know. thinking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we played, uh, I guess, Clam Caravan. Clam Caravan. And, and, uh, and then we went next door and watched them for a little while, but we yeah. were making them nervous, so we left. <laughs> you know. He didn't make you nervous at all. Holy right? cow! No, oh, not yeah. at all. People, people I think who know us. The one you used, Harry, was gobsmacked. Yeah. Yes, we were. Yeah. yeah. We were. People who knew us, who were there, said, uh, "I've never seen three such loquacious individuals so short of words <laughs> in their lives." It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Just like. But then you got back to rehearsing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, did it start out as an acoustic tour? I mean, how did it yeah. how did it get mm. started? It was it well, ever it, going to we, be? Well, we played a show in in New York City at the Museum of Modern Art about four years ago. Mm -hmm. I was there. I was there. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, we enjoyed that experience. It was as mm -hmm. us. Yeah. We did some material mm -hmm. from some of the films and and. And that stuff. was the first time you'd done that, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. 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 And it's it a, felt okay. It was felt great. We did it a okay. couple of other places too, and uh, you know, a couple of benefits, things uh -huh. like that, and and uh, it, it's a lot of fun. So. Because and and it, it struck us. Pardon me. It struck us that uh, this was not probably the ideal year. Uh, the economics being what they were to, to mount a huge. This is the rock true recession tour. Yeah. Oh, true absolutely. rock and roll tour with three semis. <laughs> you know and tootling around uh, the highways and yeah. charging a $75 ticket So you just have a, a U-Haul hooked well, to the back of your... Well, we actually have two, two big buses. <laughs> you have two. <laughs> buses, but no semis. No know. semis. Okay, so that, you know, they're it's cheaper, a, right? It's a lean and mean tour, um, and we, we uh, had done it, so we th we'd always had in the back of our minds that would be something to do, uh, and this, you know, the 25th anniversary of Spinal Tap just it provided is, us the right. opportunity to do it. But um, but you're not Spinal Tap, and it's very curious because uh, you're, you're really not using that name for the tour. So it made me wonder, who owns Spinal Tap? No. <laughs> Talk about a buzzkill, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure you want to mm. go there. That. No, no, no. You mean you don't want to go there? No, I don't think I anyone. I want to go there. No, yeah. but, uh, Any yeah. lawyers in the room? Does anybody Any in this room own Spinal well, Tap? Look, let, let's, um, let me just give them chapter one, and you can just uh, imagine Do all the way to I chapter wish. 11. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I knew we'd turn it up to 11 yeah. at some point. Ah. <laughs> no, what, uh, we were, the, the film was made by Embassy Pictures. 
uh, and released by them, and then they went under, and they were all their their catalog was bought by De Laurentiis, mm -hmm. and, the, and then De, De Laurentiis Company they they kind of started packaging out stuff to uh, various places, and we were owned I think by Vestron for a minute, L'Oreal, L'Oreal, we were owned, yeah, we were uh, no Faberge, L'Oreal, mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. we we deserved it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's yeah, because we did not hang on to the right. We just when we made the film, we just wanted it to get released, so we yeah. you know we we did let things. But you were hired see. help. Yeah, yeah, you didn't, kind you didn't, of. You yeah. Didn't we weren't, own any we of weren't it. hired help. We, our you were partnership, our partnership produced the movie. Yeah. And yet, given the realities of the motion picture business, to get the financing to do the movie, we had to surrender yeah. basically our everything but our firstborn. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and today. Same. Yeah, more you the same. You surrendered your same. firstborn. Well, <coughs> let's just say we're we're, we're, we're you, glad to have rights. But you, but you own your music. Country. You own your music? Um, no. Yeah. no. We, we own all our new music, sure. Yes, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. Since 92, we've owned our music. Yeah. Uh, but when you tour, you have to play. work with a lot of lawyers to get things worked out, or you there can are just... All, all, it's always, always too complicated. Many lawyers, yeah. It's always yeah. complicated. Touring is about the least complicated. Yeah. We can go out... Uh, it's making this, a film that makes it complicated. Or, yeah. making or, a, or, or doing a book. Doing or a, a, an a, album uh, or a CD or Merchandise whatever. or things like that. Are you filming this tour, this uh, acoustic tour? No, we're letting, we we're letting the fans. Well, you that. might be the first to know. I mean, well, you know, yeah. we're talking. I mean, we're talking. We're about talking it. about the last couple of shows doing it. Right. We're, we're now, you know, when we were starting, we didn't know what it was going to be. We didn't know whether people were really sure. The first like audience it. likes no, no, I mean, no, but you know, no, it's, it's how it goes. Um, and now, you know, you're liking it. We we got a good show here. So. Yeah. Well, as a director, Christopher, do you now see it as a, a I think it's more of an IMAX uh, <laughs> 3D Discovery Channel kind of event. <laughs> Narrated by Morgan Freeman. That's, right. that's my dream. <laughs> where, I'm, where I'm hanging for Animal Planet <laughs> myself. Uh, right after the Puppy Super Bowl. Right. Right. Um, that was great. Yeah, that was great. That, that was, was a great that show. Was too bad they didn't know the Puppy Super Bowl when you were writing exactly. uh, Best in Show. Yeah. Could have been a whole, you know, <laughs> new dimension. Um, well, so maybe you will do a film of this tour. Uh, a, a video, a, d a DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but then, um, as uh, when you get done with this tour, uh, you guys have lots going on. We do. I think that. Well, you're you are uh, possibly in talks, or maybe it's already been decided to do Waiting for Guffman on Broadway. Is that? Wow. <laughs> am I am I the only That's, one who knows? That sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. it does yeah. sound cool. I think well, you should do that. <laughs> Eugene maybe Levy and I. Have been meeting irregularly and talking Good. about that. Have you right. tried but we had a, we've had two uh, <laughs> offers from uh, Broadway producers, and we've Apparently. talked to one about doing it. It's a very long process to do a Broadway show. Of what you do? Of anything. Well, but to, I would to imagine to develop it to it's it's a couple of two three years in the in the making and. Given that we actually do other things, it's difficult to get a run at it. But we have been talking about it. Is 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 improv easier or more difficult on the stage? Well, we wouldn't do it that way. We'd have you to write the book. You couldn't, right? You'd no. have to right. actually yeah. write to it. To write the book sure. and write new songs. And the three of us wrote the music for Waiting for Guffman. Right. Um, and some of those songs could be used, and there would be new songs, I imagine. And you have some of the Waiting for Guffman songs in yeah. we, the uh, we do. Wig. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But, um, and people love them. But are you feeling, is this something you'd like to see happen? I think it's a viable premise. Um, have you ever directed for the stage before? I wouldn't direct it. You I wouldn't? You would just... Uh, well, I don't, I don't think I know enough about that. I think really? someone... Jack some O'Brien. Get Jack O'Brien. Oh, Parker, Parker. You've already <laughs> <have> Parker. <laughs> Um, what's this stain? <laughs> um, I think uh, I think uh, there are people who know how to do that, and I, I Eugene and I would uh, write the book and then shepherd it. I imagine in some way. Would you see yourself being in it again? You mean as in a quirky? delusional way? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm as only quirky. asking. No, no, who I, else I, is I, I don't. Quirky? I don't think You're so. You're not quirky anymore. I, I, I don't. We've quirky. talked about all the. Quirky's dad. Quirky's <laughs> dad. Quirky's <laughs> 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 grandfather. Uh, More I don't, likely than I don't know. Son. I think <laughs> it would be an, a, a new group of, of, of people. And you uh, are Mr. Broadway. Yeah. You well, actually, I've even yeah. gone to New York and seen Michael. Mm -hmm. Do the stage and, and serious drama, what not you really. Uh, oh, homecoming. Yes, right. Oh. Serious and drama. 
Yeah, and it was it was very and good. pajama yeah. game, I'm right? Headed, but I'm I, headed I back there that. in uh, uh, That's October. A, it was a Steppenwolf play. Yes, which I did last summer at Steppenwolf. Uh, Superior, Superior Donuts, Donuts, written by Tracy Letts, who right. gave us uh, August Osage County, mm -hmm. who sold us August <laughs> Osage <laughs> County. Right, right. You can't go for free unless you know somebody. <laughs> Um, and yes, it's his new play, and it's a wonderful play, and I did it this past summer, and now we're going to bring it to Broadway uh, probably early October. You could be there about the same time. This would sort of be like going home for the two of you, though. Really? Well, we are. We are well, you're, you're New Yorkers. Yorkers. We are New Yorkers. I grew up in New York City, yeah. yes. You did, and you met, we at, went and met at NYU, at, at right? drama school, so right. to speak, in quotes. Acting school. Acting school. Acting school. Acting they didn't school. call, they yeah. didn't, it didn't yet have somebody else's name on it. No, it was no. The, before it was the Tisch money. <laughs> I actually, I went to Carnegie before the melon money, <laughs> yeah. and I went to NYU before the Tisch money. <laughs> so, and as soon so as I leave, as soon as I leave a school, they get really endowed. They get by, co by way of and, compensation, and professors and studios, yeah. <laughs> and, but um, it, it's interesting about the the, the 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 ways the three of you. I haven't forgotten about what no, you're doing here. Okay, it's, Harry has uh, this fantastic radio show. I know the show. Yes. Yeah. Well, and the Simpsons, and sure. and the Simpsons may well be doing another movie, right? I'm sure they will. They in sure. the fullness of time. And there's the ice. And you show. hope they'll tell you, right? Uh, will will be the last to find out. The cast <laughs> is always the last to find out. We were the last to find out that there were going to be stamps. Oh, well, Simpsons you know, stamps. it's funny. Ned said something the other as night as on stage. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you get the check from Rupert Murdoch, right, Harry? Well, I was once given a very good piece of advice by Eric Idle of, of Monty Python fame when I was. We were having one of our conflicts with the good people at Fox. By which you mean? By which I mean the people at Fox. Routine conflict. Yeah, and he said uh, the only way to get back at Rupert Murdoch is to take as much of his money as humanly possible. <laughs> and I I'm doing you my do. best. Yes. Uh, no. I'm doing what I can. But but the way the three of you intersect is really quite interesting. I'm not. It's if you had to do the timeline, I'm not sure. It's is it Laverne and Shirley. Oh, when way before that. Way oh, before yeah. that. Chris and I knew each other the, at NYU. Le, NYU. And then 1967. I, we and started right. writing songs. In 1970, right. I, I came to Los Angeles. I started working with Harry on a, in a group called the Credibility the Gap. The Credibility Gap. That's and the same I guess time I introduced I was at the Lampoon. Well, either David right. or myself introduced you to Chris. Uh huh. And uh, then Harry was producing the TV show 1978, which was Rob Reiner's right. pilot for a, 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 an anthology kind of comedy series. And um, so Harry was one of the producers, and uh, he, uh, he suggested Tom Leopold and Christopher Guest, who were writing as a team at the time, who had done some right. brilliant work on uh, uh, you know, in various various kinds of TV. Mm -hmm. They'd done two really wonderful pilots. Brilliant. Just, uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were good. Yeah, yeah they, they were really good. good. And, and so that was the first time the three of us got together, and that was sort of the gestation of Spinal Tap. That's where Spinal Tap made their first appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but it's interesting, Nigel Tufnell. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, you first appeared before Derek Smalls or David St. Hudson's because you, was, was it, wasn't it Nigel so Tufnell? Lenny and the Squid Tones. Led, yes. Lenny and the Squid Tones. That's yes. true. That's correct. Right. But and it was a character that Chris had been you sort of done well, at, at the on lampoon. The, lampoon. I did, the National Lampoon. I, I did some Nigel-esque things. Yeah. Yes. So did you come up with their characters, or did you? Oh no, no. We, no. we all. Uh, yeah. So how was how were your characters born? Breach birth for mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that explains a lot. That explains that. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it was just we we uh, we made this band and uh, for this performance on the TV show right. that I was doing with Rob. And um, after the, the shooting was over, we talked about, because Chris had already, you know, had his character sort of in hand, we thought maybe we should do more with this, the idea of this band. Mm -hmm. We got together and started talking about what it might be. It it's came up. Is it really? No, well, I'm no. kidding. No, it's finally, much louder when yeah, it's mm -hmm. Finally came up with the idea of, of, of a documentary following them on tour, mm -hmm. and then we started sitting down and, and writing the history of the band, and, and so the characters sort of grew out of that process. They didn't, you know, spring full-blown one day. Did, did yeah. you just work among the three of you in and your Rob. voices, and, and, and Rob, Rob being, Rob. being your being Yeah, your we also, the first thing we really did, uh, we sat down. We put on your spandex. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you put on your spandex, you can't sit down. <laughs> so um, we, we started writing the history of the band, a really detailed history mm -hmm. of the band, going back to when we 
we were seven and eight years old. And uh, and when we picked up this guy after Ronnie Pudding left the band, all the really minutia. Right. And uh, it's pretty dense. And we I, did I that. Read it, yeah. Actually. Well, we did that because uh, well, you read the, the shorter version. I, I know. There's lots more. You haven't you haven't yet published that. No, no, no. no. That'll it. be Tapopedia. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Um, but we uh, we we wrote this 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 biography, and uh, it was so that we would all kind of be improvising from the same mm -hmm. hopper. Which is Him which sheet. is which is a, a principle yeah. you work off anyway when you do your films. Is, yes, you need to have a very detailed like background and, yeah. and backstory for all the actors. All the scenes are already uh, worked out in terms of where they're going, mm -hmm. and so everyone has something in common. Otherwise, it's a, it would be a mess. Um, for your consideration was wonderful. You were Thank all you. in it, and, uh, and that's. And you were all in um, Mighty Wind. Mighty Wind together. Mm -hmm. You didn't. You didn't make it into Best in Show, but that's okay, Harry. And he was um, doing his own thing. But my do, own do, broke do, thing. do you? I believe I read somewhere that they just sort of <coughs> hand you the money and tell you to go do what you want. Is that? There's some variation on a quote that I read where. Really? Where <laughs> like to see that? I, I, I believe you were the one who said it. I, he was bragging. Oh, really? But you. But you have. A, the, the, well, it, do you have an easy time getting? Well, simply, um, when we were going to do uh, the, the Spinal Tap project, um, we shopped this idea around, and no one was interested. And Norman Lear essentially said to Rob, "Here, look, here's the money. Go and make your movie." And, Sweet and, words, aren't they? And mm -hmm. it, at the time, it wasn't a lot of money, but no one else would have made the movie. And then, mm -hmm. going forward a bit in years, I had an idea for film, and Rob now had his own company, and he said, "Go and make the movie," and he's. That Castle Rock has been supportive of, in the same way of saying, "This is your movie. Go and make the movie." Are you um, thinking of another one? What's this? Thinking. It's thinking. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> I thought this was thinking. <laughs> are you, are this you, is coloring this your is hair, flirting. right? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I, this is well, the moon over the water. I usually take about three years mm -hmm. after a film to yeah. to even begin take, thinking. Yeah. So I, I don't. Maybe. You probably get asked all the time, yet. and everybody probably has their, uh, oh, you know, you should do my family or something mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But, but I'm just curious, given... I am actually doing your family, weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> that is the next. So long as I get some of Rupert Mur Murdoch's money. Okay. <laughs> but what, do, do, do you see anything in politics? Do you see anything in Washington? <laughs> didn't you talk about? Didn't you talk about doing? Well, I'm a talking about it right now. No, no, I know, but oh, eventually. That's him you, talking. You and Eugene weren't you talking about doing a political we, film? There is a. I have an idea that that uh, that that does deal with with politics. It, it's not Washington, but I have an idea that deals with that. That I'm that I am thinking about. I mean, there actually there there's politics in all your films. Yes. Because yes, all it's, your it's characters are. Politics, they yeah. are. I mean, there's and, so much politics. I, I have no interest in in, in Washington politics, but I do have interest in in the general idea. So, so you and Harry are at opposite ends there, aren't oh, you? Oh, not when we no. in conversation. No. Yes. Yeah. No. No, no, no. Creatively, I think it's different because if you're if you're trying to do a movie, well, so much of your material is Washington politics. Yeah, but I but that's material that I do on a weekly basis, yeah. on a very topical basis for a radio Hard show. Hard to do Washington in a film when that sustains. Yeah, uh, by the time you've got the two We've year changed. process, yeah, it's and it's not right. about the current event of it. It's a, and it's not about has nothing to do with the, the the partisanship either. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the the the, the emotional part of it and the logjam part of it. Uh, and that's what that's th and that's what you're often going for in your films, isn't it? The well, emotional key. To well, there's people. an emotional premise, which is very important, but there's also the delusional <laughs> premise, yeah. seriously, which is, which what is makes equally us laugh. equally yeah. important <laughs> because any area that you look at has that component. Any lack of self-awareness. Well, there you go. There you go. But uh, um, well, it's interesting about Washington right now because. Uh, it's been said that the past uh, few presidents were sort of gifts to the comedy business, and I don't know that this president is. is yeah. He, oh yeah. No, don't worry about that. Is he funny? <laughs> oh, it's coming. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, he himself is actually funny. I mean, he he's actually sharp and and knows what humor is. Right. They're much better when they don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this, um, quasi seriously, on that subject. Um, the the kind of humor that this administration may well lend itself to is is uh, evocative to me of uh, the Kennedy administration and uh, and what followed the group that followed uh, and also in a way of, of the Clinton administration 
in, in both cases, you had very smart people doing very stupid things. Uh, in the case of the Kennedy and Johnson administrations, it was a little war in Vietnam. And in the case of Clinton, we know we don't have to go back there. Um, and I think the danger in Washington, you know, w Democrats kind of um, deluded themselves for about eight years with the idea that, well, he's so stupid, we don't have to, all we have to do is say, yeah. he's so stupid. Mm -hmm. That didn't quite work as a strategy. Um, but the other problem is that you come into town and you're as smart as these guys are. And um, you just kind of over, over, overestimate your ability to change the world. Uh, what, what is, what, when you're looking for humor in politics, what are you looking for? Um, Nixon. Cheap laugh. Nixon. <laughs> Cheap laugh. <laughs> well, I Nixon, think, the, I think right. the only, officially, I think um, William Henry Harrison was the only uh, president who was a stand-up comic. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the time, they had no microphone. And he was out, he was out of there in, in a month. And he was out of well, there. Well, that his was the problem was, that was, he bombed. This was yeah. before TV commercials That's and right. airlines, so he had no material. Hand-to-hand yeah. antibiotics. Yeah. Yeah. And, and th uh, there's, a, there's a painting of him holding no mic, because they didn't have mics. <laughs> but in front of a small group at an inn, you see the fireplace yeah. in the background, and he's, and he's bombing. He's doing what, yeah. I mean, it could be Rickles or anyway, he's basically, <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing in his hand, but you know he's thinking ahead. <laughs> um, do you spend a lot of time uh, uh, watching Washington politics as it I, plays I out? I read um, about seven newspapers. Most of them are actually foreign papers. I read seriously. I read the I, re I read the Independent, the Guardian, the, the London Times, and sometimes the Irish. And then and then uh, I do read the, the New York Times and the Washington Post and. Uh, and, uh, and whatever she's So it's, it's a variety of things, but many of them are, are from totally another place. Uh, uh, but uh, the reason I am. Cupcake on your lip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm being honest. No, you are. How honest. is that news, Chris? Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want her to be this just no, in that's, file. That's, that, we like that. We, we're, we like to be helpful. <laughs> One of the reasons I ask is because you are a baron. And I don't no, know if you're a lord. I thought you Same were a baronet. No, I thought you were in the House of Lords, but yeah. he's a baron. baron? He's yeah. the baron of See, sailing. Now you're not going to be so cavalier on that bus, are you? <laughs> <laughs> but and he's also a cavalier. Yeah. Okay, just That's a moment funny, here. Hard, just, hard just to a, be a cavalier on a bus. Just a moment for me and the, and the baron. Yeah. But um, um, the baron of sailing, I believe, in County Essex. But sure. you And you were in the House of Lords I was. for a few years, and then they changed the rules, yes, and now you cannot go. But you apparently enjoyed going. I did. Attending. Who wouldn't? Well, I don't know why. What was? What did you find in it that? Well, the costumes to you? alone are worth. <laughs> or, or worth the price of admission, right? Sure. I, I find that it was quite civil in the in, in the manner of the discourse. Um, that the pe people actually could speak without saying uh or and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I don't think I ever heard, and I'm like. Wondering <laughs> if the honourable gentleman, the way honourable gentleman. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that. Is, that really <laughs> well, you don't. And really he's hear, all. <laughs> you don't really hear that on stop, our. He's stop all in my stop, stuff. Stop, stop getting in my grill. In, in my grill. <laughs> I don't think I ever heard that. Um, no, there Question, was, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. No, think I, I found it to be fascinating and, and a, an accident of, of birth that I that I was there, but it was. Uh, interesting. Well, that's why I asked if you watched our politics at all, particularly our Congress. And you, and, and you know, well, that's not much. I, that that's not. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, that's different. There's not a lot of credit you can give them. C-SPAN. C-SPAN yeah. is fantastic, and since they've added the laugh track, I think it's <laughs> un much better. It is right. really one of the best right. things uh, ever going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so that was a, so that was a loss for you when they took away being able to go to the well, House of Lords, uh, right? There are, there are bigger losses in, in well, I know life. that, Christopher, was, but you were getting into it, so to speak. I was, I, yeah. I was enjoying it. You were enjoying it. He can't wear the ermine robes nearly as often. Has, now. He, no. has he invited the two of you to his barony or whatever? No, it's? but when, uh, when uh, Christopher's father was alive uh, mm -hmm. and he and did invite you. Well, he yeah. did. I, I, I went and I, I looked into the house. Of, I had to buy a tie. <laughs> you know, uh, so that's why Harry didn't go, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. No, you that's were, right. off, you were off somewhere else, <laughs> I yeah. think. Yeah. I, know him, I know him very well. Um, yeah. Well, now, um, Spinal Tap. Uh, 
What will, um, what will you do with Spinal Tap? Um, I mean, do you see this now as a, as a long-running concern? Do you think it's going to be in your lives forever at this point? Well, 25 I mean, years well, is a pretty good well, head 25 start, years yeah. means something, doesn't yeah, yeah. it? <laughs> well, the Rolling Stones have been together for 45, so, you know. Uh, you, you've, actually been, you've actually been together so long now that the mocking part is sort of less so, don't you think? Well, it's not something we consciously do. You're actually a very do. good band. You're a very oh, good thank musician. You. Thanks. Well, that's, you know, that's kind of just being well, you, polite. You're I mean, you're, you're being just, polite, no, but, I'm not but I think being, we're being polite because, by playing. Because something well. that a lot of people don't probably know about the three of you is that you are musicians, mm -hmm. and each of you probably could have built a career in music all on its own. I think yes. we're all probably really happy that we're in, in the kind of... Uh, combination of businesses we're in as opposed to uh, trying to have made it. solely musicians. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. my wife is in the music business and it's a, it's a, uh, a depressing enough to watch somebody else go through that uh, mill. <laughs> uh, but, but actually, I think it's worth mentioning, you mentioned your wife, Judith Owen, a wonderful singer. Each of you have really lovely wives who yeah. have their own careers. Who have jobs. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and Annette best. O'Toole. Oh, man. And Michael and Jamie Lee Curtis and Christopher. I mean, uh, I can't imagine what it's like when yeah. the six of you and children get. Well, I mean, I've been to your house. It's yeah. all, everybody's singing. Yeah, I, it's I recommend the sound that everyone, of music. Have a, everyone have a, a really great wife. Have a really good. I think they probably feel have, the yeah. same way about you. Well, I hope now, so. You, let you me recommended that to Raymond Burr and nothing. Else. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't pay attention. No, did he? apparently not. Never did. It didn't take. <laughs> Della, I'm thinking of going another way. Um, <laughs> Spinal Tap, the impact that it's had on um, films and the culture. Do you think what we now see with what Sacha Baron Cohen had its birth with Spinal Tap, and that Possibly. he's taken it to another well, extreme? Well, he, he except that, uh, that there's an element of the practical joke in Sasha's work where he he he, he's goes, a more he dwells real? he dwells among well he dwells among the real and yeah. uh, and they are the fall guys and they they are the punchlines and he's just the setup it, man it, it, and he's very funny but it's 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 a different it's a different it, deal. It's, but when you it's, say it's it no is. more it's more real, there's there's equally as much uh, contrivance in what he does. Mm -hmm. he's, he just waits until he gets somebody who falls into the trap. That and he's, then he, in the cut and in the editing room, he he puts together the comedy out of. You know the tragedy right. of these horrible people that he encounters. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah someone. Do you uh, like his humor? I mean, do you go? Have you have you seen his films? I, Does this? Yeah, I'm, I'm not that familiar with honestly yeah. with his work enough to. to Nor I. No. Who's, whose work do you uh, seek out? I, I would say Ricky Gervais yeah. to me yeah. represents mm -hmm. the single most important. Aren't you, aren't you working with him, or did you just? I was in. I was in a, a project with him, but I, I think. Is it out? Is it done? Uh, I, I don't think so. No. Does so, it have a name? I don't know. He changed it a couple. <laughs> of times. No, the reason I ask is because I, I, I think it he comes changed out it a couple yeah. of times. Yeah. But for me, that work that he did uh, in the office and mm -hmm. then in extras, and now he'll be doing a film uh, with uh, Stephen Merchant. They're just starting a film. Uh, is the best stuff out there for me. Yeah, I, I sort of tend to agree. I'm also a fan of some people who uh, are not as well known in this country who work down in Australia and have done uh, about half a dozen. Well, Flight of the Concords is out of Australia. No, it's out of New Zealand. Zealand. New Zealand? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm close. Yeah, yeah. they stole my Grammy last year. Don't tell them um, that, though. Yeah. But, they, but they're a homage in a lot of ways yeah. to yeah. Yeah. you, don't you think? Uh, you know, do, kind of but the, the, uh, you don't watch them either? I haven't seen them, I but do. I've heard. I, I like them. Christopher's reading eight newspapers, That's though, right. or seven yeah. newspapers. Can't do so. that and watch TV. No. Uh, but these guys have done some wonderful work down there. They, the, they did an American film, or they did a film with an American subject called The Dish which came out here and had a sad little run because it was mismarketed by Warner Brothers, but they do some wonderful work. And they're yeah. associated with the women who did the original funny Australian version of Kath and Kim, which has been sort of Americanized to its uh, peril. Well, and, and stars John Michael Higgins, whose mm -hmm. yes. father is just yes. sitting the only, right over The here. only great thing about that show is John Michael Higgins. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we love John Michael Higgins. Um, well, uh, uh, do you... Well, Ricky Gervais was actually in um, for your consideration, he was. mm -hmm. wasn't he? Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful group of act, your company of actors, and um, do you all see? Do you keep in touch with them? I mean, is there? I mean, is that really your group of friends? Your it isn't for me. It isn't actually, for you. I've okay. known these guys so, so, for so long that it's. Uh, but um, of that group of actors, 
it, we really come together for those projects. But, but you mm -hmm. always have them in mind. But they're clearly in mind and we share this sensibility and they're incredibly gifted people. Do they ever and come to you and say, Christopher, in the next film, can I please be this instead no. of that? They just let you... No, no he, he and Eugene are really good at, at kind of saying, well, this, I, you know who I think these two should be is, is you know, Higgins and McKeon. And these, you know, maybe Harry I mean, could the gay guys, role. this should be yeah. Higgins and McKeon. He's some, thought of that Some instantly. jokes write themselves, yeah. <laughs> uh. But you did it brilliantly. Oh, thank you. Know? you. Thank I mean, but I do have to say that when we toured, when we did the Mighty Wind tour, and we did have the opportunity to be on a bus yeah. for a, a few weeks with this group yeah. of people, because we were doing all the bands from a mind. So it was Catherine and Jean and Higgins and Can't imagine. Uh, Jennifer Parker Coolidge. Coolidge. Yeah, Jennifer yeah. Coolidge. I mean, there's no better group of people to, to <laughs> do that I can't imagine. How do you ever get uh, any sleep? It's we, it, Every night was an after party after yeah. the show. Really, really we just fun. didn't want to leave that yeah. scene. So what's it like on the bus with the three? It, it, when you're Boring. on the bus together, no, you, you don't ever just get each other cracking up? Oh, of course we do. Start no. spraying each other with crazy uh, well, you know, <laughs> <with what>? <laughs> as, <laughs> as we're moving, the Cup satellite cakes. the satellite keeps going down. This is a real heartbreaker. But he goes breaker. into a funk, right? Well, because he's trying to watch the basketball right. game, and then it's so it's like snarling, cursing Harry. Because <laughs> uh, that means uh, there's a commercial, is it? <laughs> I mean, somebody's I, I just learned get how to turn mine off after the taping. No, <clears throat> uh, but uh, you, you entertain each other when the oh, satellite yeah, goes yeah. down. Oh yeah, and, and, and also in the in the you know that we have time between the soundtrack and the show where we're just sort of. But isn't sitting. Harry on the phone with the White House half the time too? With um, the wife. More than the White, White House. House the with White the White House. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been in touch with Amy the White, White House, House lately about New Orleans, haven't yes, you? Yes, I have. And and not uh, because I wanted to, but uh, I've been blogging about uh, New Orleans issues because I'm a... That's, that's, that's kind Coast? of writing about something... Yes, it is. The, blogging. With the, with He's the also the blogging TV. on the Unwigged website. Did yes, you know I've heard. Yeah. Yes. I've heard about yeah. that. But, you're, but a little, been, you're a little behind there, I, I may point but out. Really? Oh, sorry. My... I'm but you live in New Orleans. I'm a part-time New Orleans, yeah. and uh, I'm very concerned about the uh, now the second consecutive administration to ignore uh, the culpability of the Corps of Engineers for the flooding of New Orleans. And so, when the stimulus package came out with not one penny for either coastal restoration in southern Louisiana or for building a a decent uh, protection system this time <laughs> around, uh, I started writing about it, and, and the liberal. Uh, commenters would say, you know, well, you're such a big celebrity, you could probably call, why are you just writing this? Why don't you just call the White House? They'd take your call. So, and you did? So I, I thought after a while I probably should call their uh, bluff. And a friend so had, you called Cal Penn? No, no. I, uh, <laughs> a friend had said, a friend from Chicago had said that uh, David Axelrod was a fan of my radio show, which is carried in Chicago. So I thought, okay, and I called David Axelrod's office and mm -hmm. said, uh, actually, I didn't call. Two friends. You had your people call Two his friends people? went to the White House, one to the Stevie Wonder event and one on some other piece of business. Right. And they both carried the message to David Axelrod. Uh, Harry Sher needs to talk to you about New Orleans. Some time passes, tumbleweeds, crickets. And then finally, uh, my office, I, I, I decide I'm going to have my assistant call before I write anything about it, just to say, well, last chance, can, you, can we talk to you? Mm -hmm. And he puts me in touch with a, a guy with the wonderful name of David Washington. Uh, wow. who's no relation. No relation. <laughs> who's an assistant in his office. And I do him my spiel, and he says, all right, I'm going to have somebody who knows something about this get in touch with you. And I figure it's going to be some policy person in the White House, and we can talk about, you know, Obama did yeah. promise to make real Bush's promises at Jackson Square in New Orleans. So far, zip. He's taking care of Chesapeake Bay. I know he's got a lot on his plate. We like the Chesapeake Bay. I, I like the Chesapeake Bay. Yes. No, but I'm saying the people who write to the Huffington Post say, he's got so much on his plate, New Orleans has to wait. Yeah. So uh, finally, I get a call, and the person he's put me in touch with is the congressional liaison person from the Army Corps of it Engineers. Sounds like you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Army so Corps of Engineers. The Army Corps of Engineers, yeah. the very people who, you know, He was bantering around David Axelrod's yeah. name, and then the That's right. he's yeah. talking to... Well, the police to are a little busy now. Let's put you in touch with the bandits. <laughs> 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 Correct. Well, Harry, good luck. You Thank know, you. Keep, keep your... Uh, you. Right. I, I want to wish you all <clears throat> good luck and Thank to you. keep uh, entertaining us as... Uh, really lovely as you do it's um it's it's we we need humor now especially always and, uh, always there's and, never been a time uh, in human history and you we asked didn't. if you were going to get cup cupcakes cake. wow that's what we really want mm. in pink boxes wow mm. are these from today they are fresh <laughs>
Mm. You can still finish your lunch, though, and then... We, I have to finish my lunch. My yes, wife won't let me have a we, cupcake so if I don't finish my so lunch. We, <laughs> so we have to end this so you can finish your lunch, but um, back from the dead. Out June 16th. June 16th. In every the, the form The two-night worldwide tour and in June in, in London, London only. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and uh, Glastonbury. 14 more cities. And yeah. then okay. Broadway. Mm -hmm. Maybe. For you, for, for you, sure. Yes. We hope for Maybe. you. Saving New Orleans for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. The show. The You're Simpsons. Mm -hmm. New contract negotiations, I hope. I'm sure. And, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll, and we'll hear about it before you do. <laughs> uh, oh, you want to bet? <laughs> but uh, I'm very grateful. I look forward to seeing you tonight. And thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.